The movie starts with a future time when the Earth's environment is damaged. It is not good for human survival. Either the people have left to another planet, or many of the people had met their death. Later, a spaceship is seen landing in which the survivors of Earth were going to move to another planet. They all were scientists trying to amend the environment of Earth. When their all efforts had dashed into the dust, they had also decided to leave the Earth. After this, an old scientist named Augustine did not want to leave the Earth. He wanted to spend his last time on Earth because he suffered from cancer disease. And he knew that he will die after a time, so he forbids moving to another planet. Augustine was the owner of a well-known company and he was also financially sound. So it was not difficult for him to live on Earth. He was also treating his cancer disease by himself. Meanwhile, Augustine's past life flashbacks when he was in the bloom of his youth. He was a capable scientist at this age and he had also discovered an Earth-like planet at that time. He struggled a lot and searched for the planet with his efforts, and explains in a seminar that humans may survive on another planet. He also finds a girl in the seminar and started to like her at the first sight. After a time, they both also wedded. Augustine's wife was so upset with him because he was not habitual to give attention to anyone except for his work. Their relationship was slowly coming to an end. Then Augustine's wife decided to separate from him. After this, she leaves, divorcing him. Then future time is again seen where Augustine comes on the scene. He had received a notification on his screen that a spaceship wants to contact him. This spaceship had also been sent to space by Augustine's company. Their mission was to inspect a planet. Six years had passed as they sent this spaceship to that planet. Now, this spaceship had left to land on Earth. The people in the spaceship did not know, what is Earth's condition right now? Nor do they know if there is no one on Earth except him. Only Augustine can guide them but he was facing difficulty because of his disease. He was not recalling anything about them but after some time he gets to know that it was their company that sent this spaceship to space. Now he had to help them. Then the scene moves to the spaceship where there was a girl, a commander, and other scientists. They were exerting to contact the Earth for a long time. But now their contact had become possible with Augustine. Now he was waiting as he can send a message to them after 11 hours. But his kitchen is set on fire at the same time. He discovers a little girl when he goes to extinguish the fire. Augustine was surprised on finding this little girl there. He tries to talk to her but the girl was dumb and deaf. He was still trying to discover how this little girl appeared here. Meanwhile, she was conveying a message to Augustine through her drawing that her name is Iris. Then Augustine recalls that 11 hours had passed. And he had to contact other spaceships people. He knows while contacting as there was a network issue. Due to this, he was finding it difficult to contact them. Augustine goes to set his network signal but he fails. He had no idea what he should do now. Augustine's understanding had also more developed with that little girl. He had to cure himself. Suddenly, he glimpses a planet with whom he could contact. He thinks if he contacts this planet, they can also contact another planet. He decides to leave this planet and takes the little girl with him. He also takes some dresses and oxygen with him. Augustine was exhausted after crossing a little distance. Then the ice below him is cracked and he begins to drown. He rescues himself and that girl there. Now his all-important items had also been sunk. He decides further to set out on the foot. But he could not walk so fast due to his sickness. The snowstorm was also starting there and it was becoming difficult to see around. That little girl's hand is separated from him and he was so disturbed. He begins to search for her and after some time that little girl had been found by him. He restarts his journey further. Now he had discovered that place. Then the scene shifts to the same scientists on the spaceship. One of them sees they have strayed and they are moving in the wrong direction. To change their direction, they have to go through a place where anything could happen to them. Despite this, they move this way. On the other side, Augustine who was found possible to contact them, tells them about the Earth. Then their connection is disrupted. Now another character subtly decides that she will move outside. And she will restore her connection to contact Augustine again. The path of this place was so perilous surrounded by cliffs. Sully restores the connection but another cliff hinders the connection. Its presence again disrupts their connection. The spaceship had crashed into a big rock and they were badly wounded. One group member also dies but Sully restores her strength. She repairs her network connection and also contacts Augustine. He informs her that Earth is solely abandoned, having no human sign. All people have moved to another planet from Earth. You may return to the K-23 planet. When Augustine comes to know, that they have strayed from the right direction, he guides them. Sully, tells this to his group members but two group members disagreed with this because they wanted to land on Earth to meet their families. The pilot of the spaceship was still thinking that his wife is on Earth. Augustine explains to him again and again that there is nothing on Earth. All people either have gone to another planet or died. That pilot says I will still land on Earth no matter my wife is no more. He flies to the Earth, taking another spaceship. Then Sully again talks with Augustine and says, Do you know this? It was my big dream to contact you. And you are my ideal. I have chosen this field because of you. She tells him her name is Iris Sully. 
Hearing the name Iris, Augustine recalls his younger daughter. He knows that Iris Sully was the name of his daughter. When he tries to find that little girl, he finds nobody. There was none except him on earth. The little girl named Iris was just a fantasy Augustine. Augustine with her wife always continued their struggle to move to planet K-23, so that their daughter may remain safe and sound there. His mind faced disorders when he begins to forget things. Then he imagined a little girl to make her the reason for his life. And it was only the cause that Augustine was alive. Sully was Augustine's daughter but he did not want to tell because he used to think that her daughter will carry him with her, landing on Earth. Augustine wanted to talk with his daughter. He asks her, how is K-23 planet? Sully, tells him everything. He feels excitement, hearing about her K-23 planet. He guides them to move there. She tells, survival of human beings is possible on planet K-23. And all searchers can come here who had gone in search of other planets. The scene moves to Augustine who was fearless and bold. He was standing under the sky because he knew that. His life's mission has been accomplished. Now he can die peacefully. The movie ends here. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.